Well, today this come. Uh, bands are absolutely terrible, so it's really pointless doing it. Um, it an antenna sort of uh, comparison, anything like that, has nothing hardly. That's twenty meters. Uh, forty meters and eighty meters. Absolutely dead the day. So what I'm doing, I'm doing an unboxing video. This is by UK Antennas. I've heard a lot of good things about these. Uh, Multi-band, 80, 40, 20, uh, 15 and 10. And I've also been told that the tune to 160 with the ATU and probably 6 metres as a harmonic type of thing. But uh, yeah. So I'll do my best with my uh, bad hand here while I open. I've got my stand here for the camera. Let's uh, just put it in there. I think that's it. Right. Haven't opened it up, obviously. Come the day. Bank, uh, the day after bank holiday Monday. These cost about uh, 78 quid. Um, there's a few videos on them. There's a one by Matt. I can't remember his call sign. Well, let's have a look. Just move the box out of the way. Now, straight away I can see that cable is that silicone stuff, really high quality, nice aligning insulator there, and uh, a trap, because this is the shortened version. It's the most expensive one, but um, it, £75 to me for a, a multi-band antenna isn't a lot of money, especially the type that I've heard good things about these. Wow. Wow. I mean, quality. I've seen lesser antennas going for double this money. Look at the plate on the back. Look at that plate. The mountain brackets. What quality that is. It's got a sealer to keep you out. Because when I ordered this, I got an email within 10 minutes asking what my preferred... Um, part of 80 meters was and I like the the the, the smaller side towards 75 meters so I asked them to tune it to uh, 3.750 I think it was that's without that's so I don't need an actual ATU you no know, so I'll get the rest of the band with the ATU no problem at all I notice there's no earth on these unless it's on the back I'll do a continuity test as soon as I uh, get the tester out if there's an earth on there, I might want to counterpoise. If there's no continuity, it's designed not to have continuity. Now, before we sell these, actually what they do is, as I say, the the tune them, each one, um, accordingly to 40, 80 metres. But the rest of them, the tune on the bench before they send them to you. I all personally hand tuned before you get them. Um, I'm not keen on Ballantan. I've never had any um, luck with them, uh, mainly because of the noise situation. But I have a 20 meter long garden. Uh, this is actually 23 meters, but obviously an inverted L fit, no problems. I'm not sure about the weight of this. I'll make it to make do something because I'm using a fiberglass pole. Um, but yeah, it says uh, 80, 40, 20, 15, 10. It's got the connector there. Nice bit of um, reinforcement that to take the strain. Uh, PL fitting. Uh, first thing I'll do, take that off. Um, we'll get continuity tested. So if I've got any continuity on that outside shield for the plate, then I know that needs some form of ground. Yes, so there is continuity. I thought it was an unfair dipole um, without no, without a counterpoise. So I'm pleased I tested that. So I know now that they've deliberately made that connection. I mean, uh, I don't know what... Uh, I I've got the instructions here. I don't know if they give you like a, a recommended length of counterpoise. Uh, different configurations. 
<coughs> excuse me. Um, so all the bands. Um, that's the one I've got there. Multi band 80, 40, 20, 15, 10, approximately 23 meters. <coughs> Excuse me, the dryer zone and it catches me throat. Um, 800 watt power. Um, but I'm well impressed. That that looks a lot more than 75 pounds worth. I mean, the last ballon I, I bought, I plugged in, get, put the re the recommended length uh, wire on, didn't work. So what I'll do, I'll try it without uh, counterpoise. I'll try it just um, as it is. Maybe there's enough there with the plate. Or if it's designed to use the pole as a, a steel pole as the um as a ground, uh, we'll see. We'll sharp it. I've got my uh, RF choke belt ready to go on. Um, nice wire. Um, okay, I think that's it. We'll uh, turn the camera off and I'll uh, show you the finished project. I mean, it's just a case of getting it as high as you can um, in the garden. That's basically what you do. That's the, the name of it. The higher, the better. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to do an inverted V. Um, I'm going to have this six foot high. Because I've got a fence post at the bottom of the garden six foot high. I think I'll take these bolts out, use them for something else. Screw it straight to the um, fence post. Run a counterpoise. Maybe even a couple. See what happens. Um, I'll try work without first I think. So I'll screw that plate to the big fence post about three by three at the end of the garden. Uh, we'll run it up to a uh, 10 meter fishing rod pole type thing and then I'll run it across <coughs> flat um, as I can because I think I'll get a bit bent with this but we'll see what happens if I can get the maybe see, be able to use the ampro pole to take a bit of the weight as it's halfway down the garden so I right, yeah we'll see what happens there this is just a little quick thing um, Yep, the dryer was going there and it played havoc with the lanes on the camera. So I've given it a good polish there, just to let you know that uh, I'm saying that apologies for the camera, for the lens, the steam on the camera. Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll be better. Well, I've got it installed. Plate screwed straight to that spare post. Very, very sturdy as well. Solid that post, but uh, it's up. Just put the three screws in just for now. There's a non resin counterpoise there, which is about uh, nine and a half meters. Um, goes up to the 10 meter pole. That's the pole I had the Ampro dipole thing on. And the reason I've took that down is because it's too high maintenance in winter. Storm season's coming in the wind, and I didn't want that hassle. So it's just got this wire up by UK antennas. There's a trap up there. Goes up 10 meters there. And it's pretty flat to the net to the pole. The hustler's coming down next week uh, for the winter as well. But so I'm just using this wire. Um, very impressed at the performance. 23 meters long. Uh, obviously the trap and three meters on the other side of the trap. Um, you need a gap from your metal pole because I've noticed the closer it is to the pole, you get a little bit uh, um, problems with the SWR reflection. Or inductance, whatever you want to call it. Um, it worked without the counterpoise, but on 80 meters, I was getting feedback down the speaker. As soon as I put the counterpoise on, everything was eliminated. It's flat on every band. Right, I'll show you the SWR. Okay, this is the Hustler, the RG213. That's going on to the uh, Ballon next. Um, that's the Ballon, the end fade half wave. Uh, that is set to Hustler and I'm going to flick between two. Hustler's a good ar aerial, it's, it's installed, it's, uh, it's done me good for a year but there's signals there I don't get with the Hustler which is about on par with the Ampro Fan Dipole. Ampro Fan Dipole is tremendous. If you notice it's hardly a noise flow. Um, not even an S point. Um, the tune of a signal. Oh, that's it. 
uses a remote station in Croatia. Had a few QSOs, QSOs with him. Um, we'll have a look at the FT8 at the corner there. And there, it's transmitting. You see, it's an only 3S points less. Very quiet. Um, okay, there's head back. So I'm set to the to the ballon. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the SWR. I'll just knock the SW the power back five watts, so I'm not uh, squirrel away from it. Let's have a look at the SWR. No tune in line. Dead. Right, uh, 40 meters, no tune on line, dead. 80 meters, no tune on line, dead. Uh, four. Now, it's not designed to transmit on 70 meters, but there, whoa, whoa. so it's about two, it's completely tunable. Um, hang on, what we'll do? Do a carrier wave so it doesn't have, we'll go back to 14 carrier wave 5 watts dead carrier wave 5 watts dead 80 meters carrier wave 5 watts uh 1.1 uh 1.2 uh 18 may 18 carrier wave it's on two, tunable. It's not designed for that band. Fifteen. That should be. It should. This should work. Carrier wave. Easy. One point one there. Nice. Uh, Twenty four. Twelve meters is it? Yeah. This is not designed. I don't think. Oh. Carrier wave. Tunable. 10 meters, I'm short sure tuned for this, but uh, I'm at the bottom end, the uh, SSB ends. Let's have a look. Flat. <laughs> right, uh, 60. Uh, 50, I'm uh, 6 meters, sorry. Uh, tune as a line. Right. Dead. See, so it's not designed for <laughs> 6 meters, but it's dead on the, on the SWR, so that's a bonus. Don't know what it is on. It's obviously harmonics, but uh, yeah. Back to 14, back to USB. Uh, we'll have a, another quick performance check. That's the end fade still, obviously. <laughs> that bloody hustler looks like a double load compared to the uh, end fade. Mint. I've got to say these UK antennas, um, I've got the shortened version of the 80 meter one, which has a trap, which does make it awkward for uh, installing because it's quite heavy. So you need metal, uh, but it's no good using fishing poles. You need heavy duty, or, or at least take some of the um, tip sections out. But mine's up at 10 meters high there, and then flat up to 8 meters. It's very low degree, and it's working great. I mean, look at that. The, the bands, is, there's no... no conditions uh, oh dear we we'll have got a sick by the hustler <laughs> but never mind yep definitely well impressed uh, every antenna except the hustler and this UK antennas is down now for the winter because I, I, I last year I had them up and it was just nothing but hassle ice and everything affecting everything okay cheers for watching